Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm Lance and today I'm going to be doing a blown out bloom with a hairdryer and really my inspiration is Erica Hughes and I've wanted to try this technique and recently I've gotten more into blooms and I've become a member of the Jelly Beans and I'm B3 Bean so I wanted to try this technique because it's always appealed to me. I find it like really cool. Um, you'll see when we do the blowout and uh, stretch it around. It gets this very wispy, otherworldly quality to it with the lacing and the cells and how they're um, manipulated and kind of distorted. So anyways, as you see, I'm putting my base coat down now and that is the PPG house paint. Uh, put a little bit of water in with it because it's going to be blown around and the GAC 800 and mixed it together so um, that hopefully we'll get some movement and be able to move this design around after I blow um, you know, my colors with the cell activator across them. Now, I'm on this Sunday fun day, crazy train of fluid art videos, and today, as always, Psy Frost with Frosty Eye Candy, the joy of pouring. His live show begins at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and that is followed by Darren with Venom Fluid Art at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Following Darren is Creations by Christy at 6.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And she's followed by Sheldon of Shell Rock Art at 7 p.m. Britta Clayton is after Sheldon with Britt Clayton Designs at 7.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we're welcoming Charmaine Mitchell, uh, Charm Bean, <laughs> with Alchemy Attitude Artistry at 7.30 p.m. And then I am our caboose at 7.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I'll leave the, in the description box all of the links to everybody's videos this evening. Please go back and watch them if you haven't. And I hope you really enjoy this Sunday Fun Day Fluid Art Crazy Train. Okay, I'm gonna explain a little bit of what I've done here. I have put this indigo blue down the center and I found that it shades uh, the blowout very nicely and kind of gives this underlying shadowy effect. And so I've used that kind of as an anchor through the middle. And then I'm layering my colors on top of that, but I'm doing it a little sporadically so that I don't get so much blending where I lose the color when it blows out vertically, you know, above and below the line. Um, and then that color there is a enchanted color that is like a interference turquoise um, and I, I recently saw a video that Tracy Reed did and she used those colors so I thought it'd be kind of cool to use at least one of those and see what the dried results are like in the end and so yes I'm putting the colors above and below and then I'm gonna run my Amsterdam titanium white cell activator through the middle and I'm gonna blow up and see what kind of cells and you know see what kind of bloom action that I get and once I've blown this out I'm gonna try to do it upper and lower and once I've blown it out we're gonna try to move the image around from top to bottom and stretch it off and see what kind of interesting you know wispy you know ghostly like <laughs> shapes we get out of these blooms um, to me, this technique is really fun. I watch Erica Hughes, and she's really the inspiration behind this video, and uh, it's just incredible what she does. And I haven't really done this before, so you kind of have to bear with me. <laughs> um, I would probably even make my base paint even thinner, um, but I didn't want to go too thin because of the bloom situation, and I, I just um, thought it would be best to not you know, go overboard making it too thin. So it does work out in the end. I get some really cool shapes and things that I like, and I'll just let you watch as I start to tilt it around. Um, but this technique is a really fun one, and it's very otherworldly seeming and looking um, when you start tilting it around and stretching the image.
Now you'll see me trying to put more paint along the edge there so I can get the image to move again. I don't want it to set up and then not be able to move and stretch off. So I need to be able to get it up to that corner. And I did. And trying to move the paint back to center, which you can see. I like closing up on this kind of stuff because you can really see that paint moving back to center. This is sped up though, however, so it's not quite as fast of a process as you would think. Uh, you have to be patient and guide it back to center. And I do like all the lacing and the cool, there's a lot of transparencies that happen with this technique where it looks like you're looking under glass and through glass and different layers at the paint um, and the different blending of colors that you get with these paints when they're blown out. And I really love that indigo color. I mixed it with a little bit of Matisse uh, blue and it kind of lightened it up a tad. And, but I, as you see, I really love how it's shading um, into that magenta and that um, really bright yellow that I have. That's a, a color art color. I'll leave all my colors in the description box. A lot of them were mixtures of colors though. Um, but I'm really liking what I'm getting from the top portion of that that's stretched off. You can see all those cells and lacing. And I'm not so in love with the bottom portion, so in a minute you'll see what I, what I do, what my solution to that is. <laughs> There's always a solution. There's always a way to fix something if you don't really love it. Um, so I think the best thing to do is never to panic. And as you see, I'm trying to stretch this across a little diagonally into that corner. So we get more of this, um, more of these shapes, these stretched out lacing shapes. And I really love how that yellow and that magenta are kind of peeping through that indigo. And it looks like, you know, it's almost lit from behind. And uh, really love that kind of, that kind of look. It almost looks like stained glass cells um, through that indigo color. So anyways, I'm moving it back to center and in just a minute, you'll see what I do about the fact that I don't really love the bottom portion. The bottom portion doesn't have as many cells or as much lacing and how the blowout went. Um, so, in just a second, I'll bring it all back, kind of creating a little bit more of a horizon. You know, bringing that paint back into center. And then I'll kind of talk about what I do from there on. Now, if you're enjoying this video and found it entertaining or informative, please like the video and give me a thumbs up and then subscribe to my channel. And when you do, ring the bell so you'll be alerted when I post new videos. And then leave me a comment because I really love to hear from you. Wanna be the person that you call up when you're down. Wanna be the person Okay, as you can see it's bloom embellishing time. <laughs> That's my funny little word for embellishing a bloom. And as you see, I'm taking my skewer and I'm creating some swirls in places on this bottom part that I'm not extremely in love with. And I'm just doing that to create some visual interest. And I kind of think it looks pretty nice actually because it creates you know a little bit more interesting composition and it gives your eye something to do on that lower portion because I feel like you know and balancing it out just a little bit and so there's always something that you can do to enhance or you know make something a little bit better um, you know if you have 
you know, you're in love with about 85% of it, then you can always figure out something to do with the rest <laughs> in order to make it a really nice uh, piece. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, this piece really had some beautiful colors and beautiful lacing, and there's just so much depth, and you know, there's so many kind of layers that you can see, and the sparkle is really, really amazing with all the metallics that are in this piece. And I really recommend it like I think that you should try it and uh, try it out for yourself it's a very fun technique um, it's very cool and I love how kind of it's just very otherworldly there's really no other <laughs> there's no, really no other words to describe it it is a very otherworldly abstract technique and uh, I really did enjoy it I hope you've enjoyed this time with me as well be sure to catch my Monday evening premiere at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm on a Monday evening locomotion of fluid art videos, and I should be doing a straight pour through a split valve. <laughs> so if you want to find out what that means, you'll have to tune into my channel at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday evening, tomorrow. And I hope you've enjoyed this time with me. I have really enjoyed doing this uh, blown out bloom and manipulation and stretch off the canvas <laughs> it's a really really fun technique and it really created a beautiful outcome and as always i want to thank you for watching and i can't wait until we meet again for some more fun pouring together